Hello. Miraculously, the sun is out shining and uh, I'm not entirely sure what temperature it is, but uh, it's quite nice actually. So today's going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're going to take this 182P out for a little test flight uh, with the customer, actually. Uh, they're coming along to pick it up. Uh, we've done the Dynon system in there a couple of years ago or so. So uh, we'd installed the roll system a few months ago. We'd been waiting on Dynon's um, pitch um, adjustment to come out for the fixed gear ones. We'd previously done a 182RG, of which uh, sadly none of the video footage from that was uh, actually usable because all my cameras died by the point it actually became interesting. So hopefully it's going to be a little bit better today. Uh, so we're going to go up, I think we're probably going to go up to the north up towards uh, Pyramid Lake, which uh, should be quite nice. Uh, it's over in that direction, but blue skies all around is gonna be fantastic. So uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll show you some of the operation of the autopilot. Okay, you join us, uh, we're about 8,500 feet. We're uh, struggling a little bit to climb today. Um, it's pretty toasty out um, and it's a little bit bumpy, but it's not too bad. Uh, we're here with uh, Nick and John, John's the back. So uh, yeah, we're just up here doing some autopilot testing of the new uh, Dynon 182 autopilot. We're just about to cross over into uh, Pyramid Lake, where hopefully the air is going to be a little bit smoother. Uh, but the autopilot, we've turned it on already, so it's been doing pretty well so far. And uh, we're just going to get over some smoother air and do some tweaking. Autopilot tuning is done. Uh, we are holding altitude gray and uh, we're on GPSS right now. Uh, we're going from uh, Pyramid Lake over to the Silver Springs Airport. We're just going to uh, quickly waz around their uh, LPV approach um, and do a little bit of approach training. So it's uh, handling everything really great. So. Okay, you join us around uh, the Silver Springs uh, Arnav GPS runway 24. Uh, so we've just entered into the hold at 8,000 feet. Uh, there's one other person in the uh, traffic pattern, so we've just been avoiding them. So we're nicely established in the hold, and we're going to ride that around. And uh, it's pretty bumpy right now, so uh, we're going to see how well the autopilot does, but it's been doing traffic pretty dang well so far. Is on a about a six mile final for runway 24 inbound on the RNM too far. Silver Springs traffic. Okay, so we're on GPSS mode. Uh, we're currently flying around the hold. Uh, we're in altitude hold mode, 8,000 feet. So uh, we're just about to start a left-hand turn. And then when we're turned around and then back over the uh, Hazen VOR, then we're gonna change the uh, altitude pre-select bug down to our next step-down altitude, which on this approach uh, is Zecum, uh, 7,000 feet. So we're going to set 7,000 in the altitude pre-select, and then we're going to 
press the uh, vertical speed down button is going to automatically default to 500 feet per minute. And we're going to see how that holds up for this approach. And just if necessary. Still the range traffic, 5 Golf Alpha is on a 3 mile final for runway 24 on the RNF 24. Intentions, uh, we're going to go to middle of the go mist. Still the range traffic. Okay, we're 1.8 miles away from the VOR. 42 seconds to go. And when we get closer, then the Avidon will start counting down to our uh, next waypoint. It'll also pop up and tell us uh, our next course, which we know by looking at the FMS is going to be uh, course uh, 216 to Zika. Okay, so since we're a traffic. Centurion 5 Golf Alpha is about 5 miles to the west of Silver Springs at 7,000 feet, climbing, uh, and we're going to be departing the area last call, Silver Springs traffic. Okay, so now to Zecum, so let's put it down to 7,000. Uh, press the down button. Autopilot. That uh, automatically puts it into a default of 500 feet per minute descent rate. As you can see on the Avidyne and on the dyno screen, you can see it coming in there. A little uh, green and blue Boeing bananas coming in. So really, we want that to hover over uh, Zika. So we're going to have to put that down just a little bit more. Again, blown around all over by the wind. So, uh, we still got quite a bit to go. Uh, tell you what, um, let's slow up a bit. Okay, because we're less than a mile to Zekim, and we've still got 500 feet to go. Okay, so this approach is going to be a little bit sloppy. This is why we do it in nice VFR conditions before doing it in the cloud. Okay, there's our blue boy banana coming in there. We got, we're just about to change course again. So the next one's going to be Zutsa at 6,200. So let me change that down to 6,200. Press down. But as you can see now, so the Avidine has now changed to LPV. So what we can do now is that we can now press the VNAV button. Autopilot mode. So you can see up there is now saying we're in altitude hold mode. We're going to transition into Autopilot vertical nav mode. mode. And now we've captured the glide path and we're going to ride the glide path all the way down. And there's the uh, highway and the sky boxes as well. Just about see the airport over there. Approaching altitude. So we still got one more course change to do. That's in uh, 1.2 miles there, about 30 seconds. Then we're going to change on to uh, direct for runway 24. Okay, next leg, 236 and 3, 2, 1. But now it's going to take us on to our final course. So we're in Springs traffic, Skyline 8065 Mike. Uh, we're five and a half miles away from runway 24. We're on the practice uh, LPV approach runway 24 in Silver Springs. We're going to go down to minimum and uh, then go missed. Okay, striking it down pretty nicely. Right on the dot. 
That's amazing how well it holds it. Yeah, it's sweet, isn't it? Even with how bumpy it is, it's still yeah. doing pretty damn well. Four miles to go. Gonna have a little bit of a tailwind going in. But that's okay, we're not landing. We're at 5,300. Our minimums on this is 4590. 1000. Okay, two and a half miles to go. Well, when I push the go around button, um, the dyno screen will kind of change. It will basically remind you to add power, being the most important thing. And then we'll just add power, let the autopilot continue to fly and climb. Okay. Um, because the dyno sy uh, sorry, the Avidyne system will have automatically preloaded our uh, go around. Minimums. Okay, we're approaching minimums. Right on glide slope. Yep. 500. There's 500 feet. Two red dots. 400. Minimums. There is the minimum, so power in, and I'll just press the up button. Go around. That's the go around. Auto pilot mode. So it just tells you add power. I'll let it continue to climb. Silver so frame is traffic. Skyline A065 Mike, uh, we're on the go around on runway 24. Uh, we'll initially start to do the uh, missed approach procedure and then we'll break off and head back to Reno, Silver Springs traffic. Okay, so now it's activated the mist. So the mist approach, if I pull that uh, back up. So the missed approach is climb to 6,900 and then do a climbing left turn up to 9,900. But we won't be doing that, so that's basically just uh, demonstrating what it does. So if we just uh, continue to climb straight ahead, then uh, we'll head back to Reno. <laughs> Pretty phenomenal. But yeah, so like, uh, th with this kind of autopilot, but doing all these test flights and stuff like that, uh, it, it's it's really, really good. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's like one of those autopilots where I really would have confidence actually flying a proper IFR through the clouds and then popping out. Yeah, um, you know, Yeah. You know, there's other autopilots that we've installed and flown, and, you know, it, they've got so many quirks and stuff like that, that... You know, they're one of those things where it is, you know, I personally wouldn't feel totally confident flying them. Um, and, and even people, you know, um, we've done those uh, autopilots. Um, they're, they're one of my friends, you know, he's got them in three of his airplanes. And, you know, for GPS stuff, it flies the plane pretty good. Right. But for doing, like, approach stuff, if you are above the glide path at all, it will not let you engage approach mode. It'll basically just disconnect everything. It'll disconnect the roll and everything. Um, so basically looking for you to, to basically take over and yeah. intervene. Uh-huh, yeah. Which, if you're in the clouds, which, talking from experience, we've been there in that situation, it has disconnected the fuck off. Approaching altitude. Um, you're like, God damn you. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. And, you know... And then I'm looking, and we're supposed to be heading over that way, and we're doing a spiraling turn in the opposite direction, and I'm like, <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, that was my first experience in the clouds. <laughs> Pucker factor. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm just amazed. Like, we literally didn't touch shit. Yeah. And it basically took it down. Yeah, yeah, it basically just, you know, do a couple of altitude drop downs, a little bit of vertical speed or whatever, and, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm just managing power at that point in time. It's yeah. Just, So, 
but this will be a good demonstration. So, Reno um, and NorCal is all going to be blocked out by uh, the mountains. So we're not going to be able to get the radio thing. But uh, we want to start getting prepared for going back into Reno. Uh, so, because we'll be getting ADSB. Ooh, we're climbing quite good lord crazy here. <laughs> wow. Caution. Terrain. Caution. Terrain. Okay. Autopilot mode. I'm just gonna fling us over that um, that little bit there. Okay, so since we have Reno set as a destination and the Avidine, so it knows we're going into Reno. We're getting a little green bubble yep. coming up there, so we know the weather is VFR. Uh, but if we want to grab the uh, the barrel pressure, we don't even have to go into infra or anything. Just push and hold. It comes up with KRNO, and then it sets the barrel pressure at Reno's barrel pressure based on ADSB. Ooh. Copy that, right down, one for one seven last five, don't come up. Hold on, Mark, I got 1787 with you, 6000 for 190, I'll find you. United 1787, I'll cut apart the radar contest. Reno Tower, Skyline 8065, Mike, uh, seven miles to the southeast, Reno. Uh, left downwind for 171. Alien 8065, Mike Green, Terra, hello, T, report midfield left downwind. Report midfield left downwind, 8065. Uh, Reno Tower, Centurion 5 Golf Alpha, currently about 10 miles to the south. Uh, and just for funsies, I'm going to load up a procedure of a visual. 17 left. Left downwind. <laughs> 17 knot direct crosswind. I've just blown that tail around and it's Yeah, like it is. Yeah, I've done a few of the uh, the V-tail bonanzas with this Dynon system and the autopilot. Yeah, holy crap, before you put your damper on this, like... Yeah, I bet. Shovel around all over the place. And I'll bring this down to 5,200. A report downwind or report a beam downwind? Uh, report midfield downwind. Cleared to land, 17 left, Alaska 722. 25, Mike, you are, uh, correction, extend your downwind. You're going to be number two following traffic, 11 o'clock and 11 one, one miles off the direct 737, 8100. Number two following the 737, 65, Mike. I've got Alpha, same for you, just extend the downwind, I'll call your base turn. Okay, there we go, we've got our traffic coming extend in there. downwind, you will call base 5 Golf Alpha. About 12 miles to the north. Approaching altitude. We're, if we're uh, extending our downwind, that's actually going to be kind of cool to see on the um, on this visual approach I've, I've uh, loaded up. Um, I've only done them a couple of times, but Auto yeah. Pilot. One thousand. It does give you um, vertical guidance as well, which is kind of cool. Also. Hey, okay, there's that vertical start to come in, so I'm going to. Um, Let's put this in alpha Auto mode. Pilot mode. And then, I don't know if it's gonna... Looks like it's gonna intercept it, maybe. Yeah, it might do. If we can couple with VNAV. I mean, we're primed to transition into VNAV. Centurion 5, Golf Alpha, the trap, you're following us, passing off the right wing in just one mile, 5,100, base turn, your discretion. 
Turning base at discretion, 5 Golf Alpha. Okay. Uh, 7 two, 2 turn right at the end, oh, cross runway 17 right and kind of ground point 9 we'll see you later. Right at the end, cross 17 right, then ground point 9 Alaska 722. Autopilot, disconnect. Okay. I think it would have flown it in because the quiet path was Altitude. starting to come in. Uh, yeah, we would have just flown into that and continued on down, but. It's a little bit bumpy. <laughs> Uh, I'm not comfortable with it yet. <laughs> okay, guess it's on both, Mr. Fuller. 35 Golf Alpha, wind 1206, runway 17 left, clear to land traffic, you're following is short final. Minimums. Clear to land, 5 Golf Alpha. 300. Minimums. 200. One hundred. Skyline 65 Mike, stay parking. They're parking Atlantic 65 Mike. 65 Mike, left turn there, Juliet, ground point nine, or we'll see it. Left at Juliet, over to point nine, or uh, thanks very much, 65 Mike. Okay, hunky dory. Yeah, let's get over the line. And we're to ground Skyline 8065 Mike, just vacated 17 left at Julia Park in Atlantic. Skyline 8065 Mike, Reno Ground, Taxi Atlantic via Charlie. Taxi via Charlie, 8065 Mike. Cool. Happy days. Oh, there we go. Plane's all done. That was a fun couple of hours. Autopilot dialed in absolutely perfectly. It really nailed that approach. We tried a visual approach coming back into Reno. Uh, that was looking pretty good. Um, started getting a little bit low, so uh, they disconnected and landed manually. So they're super chuffed, and they're a safe flight back into uh, California.